Good morning everyone! Welcome to Kitchen Essentials Laboratory. For today, our topic is about tools and equipment. I have divided the tools and equipment lesson into five areas. The pots and pans, the measuring devices, knives, hand tools, and small equipment. The bigger equipment will be discussed in your lecture as we are experiencing right now a lockdown. So I need to do this demonstration at home. So I don't have some of the equipment that, uh, that you need to learn as well. Okay, let's start. I'll make this fast. The first part is about pots and pans. Okay, the first one is your saucepan. So it's straightforward. Okay, this is uh, what you use when you create your sauces. Okay, it varies in different sizes. This one is a small sauce pan. Then we have the saute pan. Okay, so it's a straight-sided pan. Okay, where you do your sauteing. Okay, at times, uh, the side is a bit slow. Okay, so it may vary. Again, just a little disclaimer as well. Some of the names of this uh, tools and equipment may vary from one place to another, from one person to another, depending on how they are uh, oriented on the names of these pots and pans. So I'll try my best uh, to give as many names as possible so that if you get to encounter them at your workplace or in the, in the near future, uh, you will be familiar with these things. Okay, let's continue. So again, your saucepan, you have your saute pan. Then next, we have our... Okay, so this is your brazier, or sometimes referred as the rondo. Okay, in other books, they call this as your Dutch oven. I think in the Philippines, they call this as their casserola. Okay? Okay, moving on. Our fourth item is the steamer. Okay, so this is just a small version of the steamer. Okay, so you have two pieces here. Actually, it's the, the third one is the cover. Okay, when you remove the cover, okay, there's perforation. There are holes inside. Okay, so that it uh, the steam will get out there and go to the item that you are cooking. And then you have another pan. Almost the same as your rondo or your brazier. Okay? Then moving on, we have your grill. Okay, so this is your grill. Sometimes there's a handle where you call it as your grill pan. Um, some are made of cast iron because it conducts uh, heat at a faster rate. So better cooking with that uh, cast iron. Okay, then the, our next item is our pressure cooker. So this is just a small pressure cooker you find in households. So, you can seal it properly so that you can actually trap uh, the pressure inside and cook your food faster. So, if you need to simmer your food, like for example, for two to three hours, you can lessen the time like half or just one third, depending on the type of pressure cooker that you have. Of course, in bigger food service establishments, they have a very big pressure cooker but this one is just a household item but at times smaller restaurants they use this smaller items as well okay next we have our um, omelette pan okay so this is our omelette pan almost the same with our saute pan okay this is coated with teflon okay teflon is a type of uh, coating that they use in a uh, kitchenware so that it will not stick okay it's actually made of plastic that's why uh, others, uh, they're a little fuzzy with the use of Teflon because they say that it's carcinogenic. But it's up to you on what type of uh, coating that you want to use. But this one is good for your omelet and when you are creating your crepes so that it will not stick to the pan. Okay? And the last of the item that I have for pots and pans is your wok. So this is a variation of the wok. Okay, some wok do have one handle here so that you can actually hold it. Uh, you can toss the items as well when there's a handle. But this one is a variation. We have it as well in the Philippines. 
uh, they call it the karahay or the awali okay so anyway those are variations of your 